What's going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are playing Need for Speed Underground. This is the first one, this is the original, we're playing it back on the PS2. Um, crazy, crazy uh, nostalgia and memories going on here. Now, I did record the, um, the actual beginning of the game, because, what just happened? Oh, oh, never mind, they play the intro. Um, if you don't do anything for a little while, but... I, I did the first bit of the game, you know, with the intro and, like, the couple of intro races and everything, but the problem with that was, after I went to go edit it, I realized that my Elgato had messed up, which is something it hasn't done in a really long time. It messed up, and everything was all out of sync, and I really didn't want to upload that because I felt like it was a huge drop in quality, but I figured since those are, like, the first couple of races, I feel like it's actually a good... We're actually in a good spot to start because we've kind of gotten past all the beginning tutorials and things like that, so we don't have to deal with any of that now. Um, we've got a little bit of money, and we've got a little bit of, a uh, little bit of part, a few parts on the car. We've got wheels and a paint job, pretty much. We don't have any performance parts yet, which I'm actually going, gonna go ahead and see if we can get any, but... Yeah, nope. Nope, forget that. But, we're, we're gonna go see, uh, we're gonna go see what we can do as far as, uh, as far as some races go. And... Definitely, uh, definitely gonna try and keep this thing going because it's, uh, there's a lot of, uh, memories here. I love this game. And a lot of people have asked me to play this game over, uh, over the course of a while, actually. But I, I kind of never got around to it because I never actually kind of, you know, got my PS2 out and actually played it. But I've completed, uh, like, as you can see, the first few races and we got the first Eddie's tournament. And... Gotta get hooked up with the junk man pronto. Wow, medium is 5,000 and hard is 6,250. Dang. I'm going to stick with medium for now because I'm not super confident with the game yet. But like I said, we're going to keep this thing going. And well, if you guys like it, we're going to keep this thing going all the way through, all the way to the end. If you guys want me to do that, we're going to try and uh, we're going to try and do that. Now, we might get uh, I might get distracted by some other games later on if, if um, you know, if they're if new games come out. But hopefully, uh, hopefully, like I said, we will get this game done all the way through to the end. Oh God! Get off me! I'm surprised at the amount of frame drop. I'm, I really am. It's weird. Oh my God! Yep, I'll have that shortcut, please. Thank you. It's really weird playing this on a on a huge 1080p HD TV as well. I mean, it probably looks fine on the video, but. Um, on a huge TV, it looks really grainy, and it's kind of hard to see sometimes. I'm surprised that this tournament is only two laps. I thought it'd be more like five or something. I guess they get longer as the game goes on, though. Okay. Ooh, that was close. I'm trying to keep... Oh, God. Avoid that shortcut, because it doesn't do as much for you going back the other way. It does a lot if you're coming... Um, if you're on the reverse layout of this track, like, well, I don't know if it's the reverse layout or not, but it's the, uh, just the opposite way for this particular circuit. It helps you a lot on that layout, but on the stock, uh, not stock layout, but just the other, the, this particular layout, it doesn't really do that much for you, honestly. Come on! That was close! So many close call moments in this game, really. This, that's what this game does, is give you close call moments. And I'll have that shortcut. I love how they call it a shortcut. It's not even really a shortcut, in my opinion. It's just kind of a, kind of like just a tiny little bypass. It gives you like maybe, um, like a couple of feet, which I mean can make all the difference though. That can make all the difference in a race. So I guess you never want to um, give up on any kind of shortcut because a shortcut is a shortcut, no matter how li no matter how small of a shortcut it actually is. Doing decently well so far. Already the last lap, so if we can just keep it out, uh, keep it out in front, we should be good to go. There were a lot of uh, in the recording that got glitched. There was a lot of stuff that, um, well, not not really a lot of stuff that was uh, that, that, that was that was weird. But um, one of the races, like all the races, I won the first time except for one, and I retried it a whole bunch of times. I had to. That was so close. That was so close. But yeah, I had to keep retrying one race because it just kept getting really weird. 
like weird stuff like like traffic cars would just come out of nowhere and cut me off it was it was almost like they were just trying to hit me not bad though I mean didn't get that many style points but still oh okay so it's two laps per race I was like I was like wait a minute the tournament can't be that long. I was like, is the tournament one race or multiple races? And I was like, okay, yeah, it's got to be multiple races. If the single races only have two laps, it's got to be. And it's probably going to be different event types as well. I don't know. We'll see. Those character models. <laughs> the character models. It's crazy. It, it, it just feels like it feels so old. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, this is when this is when the Need for Speed series was was like, I don't know, epic. This is when the Need for Speed series was, a lot of people think, at the top of its game, because they were trying new things, and they were, um, they were trying new ideas. I mean, the, the, the whole tuner underground scene was a real shift for the Need for Speed series, a real, uh, like, a real, um, deviation from their, from their, from their usual, uh, usual path, from their roots especially. With, uh, with Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, Need for Speed High Stakes, even Hot Pursuit 2. Hot Pursuit 2, which came before this game, was, again, one of my favorite Need for Speed games of all time. And a lot of people feel like you have to pick a side, right? A lot of people feel like you have to either like the open road supercar racing style Need for Speed games, or you have to like the underground, uh, you know, city racing style Need for Speed games. Me, personally, I like both. I don't understand why people feel like you have to like one or the other because you don't you don't have to like one or the other if you only oh my god he jumped over me pretty much but you can you can like either one or both it, it doesn't it doesn't really matter um people feel like they have to affiliate themselves with one side or another side i don't know why it just seems like it just seems like that's kind of the reality of need for speed and the reality of how people look at need for speed and i know it's not the same for everybody but it does feel like that's what most people try to do and I actually saw earlier that EK Drifter 458 is planning on starting a uh, Need for Speed Underground 2 series pretty soon. So that'll be kind of interesting because I'll be doing Underground 1, he'll be doing Underground 2. And the funny thing is, I've played Underground 2 a bunch, but I never actually played Underground 1 until now. So first experience of Underground 1, I mean, yes, I say, I, I said earlier in the video that, yeah, there was a lot of memories and nostalgia here. And you might, you might be like, wait, how can there be memories of this game if he's never played it? Well... I honestly, back when this game came out, I played the I played the demo a whole bunch. I played the demo a whole bunch, and I got I have a lot of uh, fond memories of that. And then I watched a ton of YouTube videos about the game, so I, I have memories of the game, even though I didn't really play it. I definitely have a lot of memories about it. So it's definitely a game that's up there on my top ten list, As, and not really for. Oh god, that almost screwed me up completely. And I would say it's on my top 10 list, not exactly for gameplay or graphics quality or anything like that, but kind of just one of those games that you always remember. You'll always remember Need for Speed Underground. It's just one of those games that at least people from this generation really aren't going to forget about. It's one of those classics. Not too bad. I wonder how many races there are per tournament. I want to say between three and five. Five might be a little bit much, but I don't know. If it's like six races, that'd be crazy. I feel like I feel like it might might end up being like six races or something. But I guess the graphics were decent for its time. I mean, you have to look at it from the standpoint of we're talking about original Xbox, PS2, which is what I'm playing on right now. And back then, there was a lot of, well, actually, just like there is now, there was a lot of debate between um, who had the better graphics, the better gameplay, um, PS2 or original Xbox. I almost said Xbox One, and, I mean, because that's what we called it at the time. We called it the, either just the Xbox, or when the 360 came out, we called it the Xbox One, and you can't say that anymore. You have to say the original Xbox, which is, I just, I feel... I still feel like they should have named the Xbox One the Xbox 720. It just would have made so much more sense. So much more sense. Okay. Getting some shortcuts going on. Not bad. A little action camera shot. Well, I've never been here before. I'm starting to explore a little bit more areas of this in the city. I love how there's traffic on the road. Yet there's racing barricades all over the edges. It's just, it's so weird. 
And it's almost like, how are you supposed to feel like, oh yeah, illegal street racing, bro, if you've got like, see, look at those racing barriers. How are you supposed to feel like it's supposed to be, you know, underground illegal street racing if you've got racing barriers everywhere? I feel like, honestly, just to preserve the, um, what's it called, the, the, the atmosphere, they should have just done, uh, they should have just take, taken away all the racing barriers and just made invisible walls. It, it just would have been better. I mean, I'm, I'm rarely ever an advocate of in, in, invisible walls, but in this particular game, for this particular time period, I'm, I would be all for replacing the concrete barriers with invisible walls. It would just work so much better, and, and it would preserve the, like I said, it would preserve the atmosphere of the game more. Now, don't get me wrong, this game has an incredible atmosphere already. I mean, especially for its time, it looks it looks great. It really does. And I missed the shortcut. Damn it. Um, but yeah, it does look really good, especially for its time. The the graphics, and again, once you look at it from the perspective of the fact that this was a totally new thing for Need for Speed again, it, it's it does look better than you would originally think. And okay. That was close. <laughs> that was pretty dang close. As far as some of the cars I can't wait to try in this game, like can't wait to unlock and test drive and upgrade. Um, definitely going to be looking at the, the 240SX, um, we're going to be upgrading the Miata quite a bit, we're going to be upgrading the, uh, the Toyota Supra, we're going to be doing the, uh, uh, GTR R34, or R34 GTR, people are going to say I said that wrong, but, <laughs> whatever, um, I'm trying to think of the, uh, some of the other cars, possibly the Eclipse, I don't know, the Eclipse was, I don't, a lot of people use the Eclipse in this game. Not bad, all right. Beat the tournament. You've unlocked the following performance upgrades. Level one, engine and exhaust packages. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted. Uh, level one, drivetrain. Level one, tire. Dude, I gotta get this stuff on the car. As soon as we get this, this, uh, this stuff on the car, I wanna see what else we have because I know that we're gonna have access to uh, drift races. We're gonna have access to uh, drags, sprints, circuits, pretty much standard Need for Speed stuff, but it, it still works. Like, they've got a formula, but the formula works. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, stick some new performance parts on here, so... These options increase your overall horsepower. Let's see. Street performance, uh, pro performance, extreme for <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go with the street performance package. Uh, oh, okay, so you get to... Wow, they actually had... I just, I just remembered they had actual name brands in the game. So this kit is, we've got AEM, uh, let's see, Engine, HKS, New Speed, Jackson Racing, Stillen. Wow, you got a bunch of cool stuff in these. Honestly, I'm going to go with the... Mm, I'm going to go with Brand Package 2, actually. Yes. And... No, I want to go back for the drivetrain packages. Power to your wheels. Yep, street performance. That's all we. <laughs> that's all we're gonna be able to get. Hey, let's put some new tires. Yep. And wow, you can even choose your tire brand. That's so cool. I just like that. It's so. I don't know. It just seems. It just adds a sense of not realism, but. Just a little bit of extra fun and a little bit of extra personalization to the game. And can we get... Oh gosh, what is it? Uh, There's a wide selection of... Can we get anything? Oh, we can actually get some stuff for the car. Sweet. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get that. <laughs> and then... Wait, I, I didn't actually spend enough time in there. Anywhere Not anywhere near enough. Um, I'm thinking, mm, I think that, uh, I think that th the first one actually looks a little bit better. It's a little lower, but I don't know. It looks better than the, uh, than the second one, in my opinion. Neither one is great, but the first one does look better than the second one. Um, first option. Hey, dang it. I keep wanting to exit. I don't know why. No. Mm, no. Yeah, we're not putting a wing on. <laughs> not yet, anyway. We don't really need an aftermarket hood yet. Um, for the wheels. 
I like the wheels we have, honestly. Um, can we get any... Oh, yes, we can. Or, no, we can't. Never mind. Tail lights, exhaust tips. Nothing! When do we get exhaust tips? I want to upgrade the exhaust tips, because the stock exhaust tip doesn't really look all that good. I guess that'll have to be it for now, but it should perform a little bit better, at least now that we've got the upgrades on it. So, I'm going to see what races we have available to us and see where we can go from here once it's, uh, once it's done saving. Which, by the way, does take a little bit of time on the PS2 with the memory cards and stuff. I'm sure you guys, if you had a PS2, you remember memory cards. Let's see. Race map. So that's it. We've got a time trial. So that's what we'll be, uh, that's what we'll be, bleh, that's what we will be doing in the next episode. We'll be checking out a time trial and hopefully doing well, <laughs> hopefully doing well in it. But if you guys enjoyed this very first episode, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you guys want to see more of this game. And also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.